Hi guys, there is a recipe everyone is always asking me how to make and today I will tell you how to do the perfect mango. With this recipe you will have a delicious and soft mango and you will think of me every time you make it. This is a staple in my country, the Dominican Republic. We eat this for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, and if we could drink it, we will do it as well. We love plantains. You want to make the perfect mango? Ven y hazlo con su. Here I have my green plantains, which we need to peel and cut in quarters. We need to put them in salty boiling water. Depending on how many plantains we have, we will add either one or two tablespoons of salt. I added two tablespoons because I have a lot of plantains and I cut them in fourth because it will take them less time to cook. You will let them boil until they get soft and that will take between 30 to 40 minutes. Just so you know, mango is just much boiled plantains. When they boil and they're ready, they more or less will look like this. You will drain all the water out and you could put a little bit of butter just for flavor and for it to get a little bit soft. I added about a half a stick of butter. Now it's just time to start mashing the plantains. This is what I use to mash the plantains, but you could use whatever you have. Some people use a cup, some people use a bottle. The point is just to get them matched. All my Dominican people, please do not kill me because I'm giving away the big secret for the soft and delicious mango that will not get hard. Here it comes! Yes! <laughs> this is the big secret for a nice and soft mango that will not get hard. You can even reheat it in the microwave and it will continue to stay soft as if you just made it cold water when you add cold icy water it will stop the cooking process of the plantings and that's why you get a soft result many people mash the plantings with the same water they boil the plantings in since this water is hot it will make the plantings dry out and be hard now do you want to see how do we accompany the perfect mango just keep watching here I have what we Dominicans call los tres golpes, which is fried cheese, fried salami, and fried eggs. I first fry the cheese, then I fry the salamis, and in the same oil, I'm frying my eggs. In this occasion, I'm frying the eggs, and I want to make them medium over easy because I want the yolks to stay soft. That will um, help my mango because I'm mashing the eggs in the mango and that will make it a little bit creamier. You can serve the fried eggs and of course make it however way that you like it. If you like a scrambled, it is scrambled, uh, however you like it to serve it with your mango. In this occasion, I have five fried eggs which I will add to my mango because I'm mashing them together. This is just for variety. Like you could do it however you want it. Me personally, I love this type of mango. This is my favorite way. I just take my fried eggs and mash it together with my mango. I love this since I was a child and my kids love this as well. You could see here, it's been a while since I started making the mango. How it's still nice and soft. It hasn't gotten hard on me. And you see, it's still very much manageable because of what I did. And it will continue to be like that even the next day. This is my finished mango. Please make it. And if you do, please comment on how it came out. I promise you, if you follow my steps, it will come out soft and delicious. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe and give me thumbs up and follow me on Facebook on Aslo Consu. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Make your mango.